I've asked some of my design friends to give us some tips how we can improve certain areas of our homes. So come along and let's see what they have to say. And I just smooth everything out, cats or no cats. Cat, you wanna say anything? And this morning I'm gonna show you how I make my bed. I love the idea of mixing pattern and print. I have a plaid top sheet and finish sheet. Here I have a lightweight quilted bedspread. I love the whole idea of blue and white during springtime and, and during summer. Great pillowcases, nice print. Then mixing these pillowcases, a fine stripe and a bold stripe. I love this oversized pillow introducing another pattern. It's always nice to have a blanket at the end of the bed. Then to top it off, someone once made me this pillow of one of my Jack Russells that's very dear to my heart. And so I wish you a great day and I hope you enjoyed my mix. Thank you. I'm Claire Zinnaker and I'm an interior designer in Austin, Texas. Today I'm gonna to show you all how I style a bed. So typically I just pull the sheets up pull the duvet up and then I stack my actual sleeping pillows. Sometimes if I feel like it, I just stack one on top of the other and keep it simple. These big pillows are a lot easier to lean up against and work with. So I started putting them up here as well and hiding my sleeping pillows. From there, I just make it really simple and throw this colorful long pillow right up against it. And that's it. My little tip or trick that I do is, as you can see, my world is dominated by animals and I like a lot of white things. So to keep my bed fresh, I throw a drop cloth over my duvet. And I like the color, it's super neutral, it goes with my color palette and I can whip it away if company comes over and I'll reveal my nice clean bed or if it gets dirty, covered in too much hair, I can just throw it in the wash and put it back on. So, makes everyone happy, makes the animals happy because I tried the whole no animals on the bed thing and that just really didn't work. Cat, you wanna say anything? Do you, Emma? Hey guys, I'm Miles Red and I'm gonna show you how I make up my bed. I keep it pretty damn simple. I have no top sheet, just a duvet, which I love to fluff at the foot of the bed in a fold of three. I like a stack of four pillows, and I do recommend that you iron your pillowcases. One European square plopped up in front makes it look fresh and inviting. Voila, one made bed. Hi, my name is Kelly Finley from Joy Street Design, and today I'm gonna walk you through my process of making the bed in my guest bedroom. On this bed, we have four layers. The first layer is the fitted sheet. The second layer is the flat sheet, which I believe every bed should have a flat sheet. The third layer is a blanket. This is where I get to infuse a little bit of color. And then the final layer is a duvet. I love duvets. You can have them be heavier or lighter depending on the season. So we focus on the two pillows that we're gonna sleep on and then just one decorative pillow that typically matches either the duvet cover or the um, comforter. Hello, I'm Harry Heisman and I'm coming to you today from my own private bedroom. This, by the way, is a Victorian bed, which is full size, believe it or not. Two guys and a dog sleep in it every night. I started by putting a Mary Mako fitted sheet on the bed, which is already on it, as you see. So this is the flat sheet that I already folded and steamed a little bit. So I'm putting that on and just, you know, pull it into place a little bit. Then next go the sleeping pillows, which are just standard shams from company, company store that are also covered in the same Mary Mako pattern. So there's one for each side. And then this comforter is from Elfie in Williamsburg. And it's a really fun new pattern. 
and it is sort of, you know, Matisse-esque, but then it also has these eyes on it. And here is the matching shams that just go in front of it. I'm not a fan of like too many pillows on your bed because then you don't really know where to put them. So here is the bed. Just straighten it out a little bit. And you're done. I'm Garrett Kedigan, New York City interior designer. We're here in my guest bedroom in my house in Montreal. And today we're going to explore how I go about making a bed. Styling a bed is one of my favorite things to do. I start, of course, with a top sheet. We normally do hospital corners, so tuck it all in really tight. I love doing the duvet folded in thirds at the foot of the bed. And I find that that's the best way to make a bed. Voila. So the sleeping billows go, of course, in the back and they go up against the headboard. Different patterns, different textures, different colors. I mean, this really makes the bed feel bespoke, doesn't it? There you have it. Look how beautiful the bed looks now. It's really, I mean, this is a real transformation. Hi guys, Katie Curtis here. I'm gonna give you some tips to make making your bed fun and easy at home. Then I just smooth everything out. Cats or no cats. Simple, easy. So I like to break things up with either a quilt or a coverlet, and it's also super practical when it's summer or it's too hot or the duvet might be too much for you. So I like to layer the quilt or coverlet really from about one half or two thirds down the bed. This breaks up the visual monotony, adds some interest, and it's also practical. Next, I like to stack the actual pillows that we sleep on every night. You can use varying thicknesses, varying colors of pillowcases. I like to mix and match. Next, I like to add Euro pillows. And I love Euro pillows because I like to work in bed sometimes with my laptop, or if you like to read in bed, you can stack the Euro pillows on top of your regular pillows especially if you have an upholstered headboard for some extra neck support. Next is decorative pillows. And I like to add three decorative pillows to add some asymmetry to this very symmetrical layout we have going on. And I like to kind of mix up the decorative pillows. This is actually a vintage Chinese textile pillow. And these are also these incredible embroidered vintage pillows. And you can just kind of put these really in any way. They don't have to be super tight or perfectly structured. You can kind of throw them around like so. And there you have it, a perfectly made bed. Don't forget to tune in next week for another Style Improvise. Like and subscribe to our channel below. See you next week.